Hey guys, today Apple has officially released iOS 12.2 Beta 4 to registered developers. After two weeks of releasing Beta 3, we get the fourth iteration for this software. And of course, as always, I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video some of the new changes with the software. Of course, if you want to update to iOS 12.2 Beta 4 and you're running the latest beta under software updates, you should see this software populate today again for developers, public beta testers. As we always say, you'll see this later tonight or most likely tomorrow. The current build number for the software, 16E5212F. That's gonna be the latest build number. And by the way, one of the new changes within this software that I talked about before is how Apple now just simplifies the categories here within the about section. Something that I really like about this new software. Now iOS 12.2 also brings new and emojis, new full screen support for the remote control on the Apple TV. We also have control center toggles that are changed, air quality index, and also Apple News in Canada. So there's a few changes with this software other than just a minor under the hood improvement. So it's not just the same stuff we've seen before. For example, iOS 12.2 beta 4, today's releases has a new icon here, as you see, for the remote on the Apple TV control center toggle. So before I would just say Apple TV. So if we tap into it, we get what it looks like the Apple TV remote exactly as it is in real life. So you have all your controls up at the top here. You have your trackpad, your menus, and all your controls that look very, very similar. Also notice that the animation seems a little different when I 3D touch on it. Take a look at the animation. It just sort of flows. It looks really, really nice. Let me know if you notice that as well. Now the new software also brings a brand new icon to the home screen for the news application. Apple has really been working on Apple News, bringing it to Canada recently, also changing some of the UI elements. And now the new icon comes here with iOS 12.2 beta 4. I like this a lot better than the previous icon. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. Now this is just a really quick first look at iOS 12.2 beta 4. I'm gonna be digging around the software as I usually like to do give you guys an update in the next 24 to 48 hours, of course, to talk about battery performance, any bugs, any new additional features and changes that I may come across from using the software itself. We're running a benchmark here to take a look at the numbers as we usually like to do. Once the numbers are in, we'll be right back. 48-13 on a single core score, and wow, look at that multi-core score, 11,000. 105 so definitely definitely great performance i'm really happy to report that apple is really fixing a lot of issues with this software sometimes my iphone 10r and 10s would freeze when turning on or off bluetooth rather in settings or in control center would just freeze the device apple is doing a really good job with performance so there you guys have it just a quick look at the software everything seems to be polished up the numbers look good hopefully the battery performance is still there as i mentioned i'm going to be working on that in the next 24 to 48 hours i'll give you guys a follow-up thank you for watching today's video have a great day guys and i'll see you on the next one peace